Malaysia's capital markets are booming. Last year, assets under management grew nearly 20% to over 150 billion US dollars. Hong Leong Investment Bank has capitalized on this growth to expand into the region. And with me is its CEO, Li Jim Leng, CRO, Li Wai Sing, and Head of Treasury, Chair King Fui. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us more about this expansion. Okay, um, in terms of expansion, um, we have basically achieved uh, what we considered ourselves in Malaysia, the matured stage, where among our competitors, our earnings have grown to a stage where we are fairly comparable to our competitors. So the next phase of growth that we are looking for in terms of expansion will be the regional markets. And the first being, of course, Singapore, which is um, a place closer to home. And the next would be we'll hope to work on with our sister company in Hong Kong, where we are hoping to use our same level of expertise to build on our homegrown brand and create the same level of business that we hope to achieve uh, out of these markets. Yeah. What challenges have you faced and how have you dealt with them? Well, for the last couple of years, I think the most challenging part is the increase in regulations. Um, we have um, uh, definitely uh, a lot of guidelines to adhere to. For example, there's Basel III and there's ICAP, you know. So with that, um, the cost of capital has increased. So for us to maintain the hurdle rate to do the uh, particular transaction is getting more and more difficult because the margin has been compressed. And uh, with that, as an investment bank where most of our assets are traded, in order for us to meet the uh, net stable funding ratios under Basel III liquidity requirement, it's a bit hard because um, most of our deposits are mainly corporate sites. So, and um, for wholesale interbank deposits are not taken into account as um, stable deposits or stable liabilities for that matter. And of course, on um, managing the volatility of the market, whether it's credit or interest rate, is difficult for us as well because we do not really have a stable probability of default which is published specifically for Malaysia. So for the assets class that we traded in, it's very difficult to calculate the um, credit risk capital charge for the particular assets unless we are doing a standardized approach. So that would make our cost of capital a lot more higher. And with that, of course, market competition would definitely decrease the uh, margins that we are going to make. And um, yeah, I think moving forward is definitely going to be more challenging. Looking to the future, how is the industry going to change? Our clients are continuously looking at uh, new ways of raising funding as well as financing. And we are there to help our clients. Uh, we are the first to raise uh, SPAC financing in Malaysia. In fact, we did the first and the second SPAC in Malaysia. And our clients are also continuously looking to expand beyond the Malaysian shore, right? Um, they're expanding regionally as well as globally. And we are also there to expand along with our clients and along with it to help them uh, come up with innovative uh, financing as well as uh, fundraising. In terms of investors, uh, they are also ex expanding beyond the Malaysian shores. Malaysian investors are beginning to uh, invest beyond Malaysian shores. That's where we will come in to help them as well. There have also been opportunities during this process. How have you been able to capitalize on those? Um, we see this that the market has recently been um, active with a lot of mergers among the big bracket banks, especially like CIMB, uh, they just bought into RBS, uh, Maybank, another dominant uh, investment bank, they bought into Kim Ng. Um, in the middle of all these mergers where we see a lot of competitors being distracted by integrating the so-called operations and cultures among the, the two entities, uh, we saw a lot of opportunities where we can catch up uh, with our competition and stay close with our clients and um, during this process we've been able to successfully garner market share and uh, in this process also we've been able to actually bring some first to market initiatives for example we listed the first pack uh, on the Busa Malaysia we also uh, was the first to do a, a tier 2 bond for an insurance company which has not been done in the Malaysian markets so that sort of helped us when our competitors are busy uh, for us to make some traction to the market and gain market share. Um, so being opportunistic in this stance has actually won us some uh, first-to-market deals and um, in the process also we listed one of the most innovative REIT and we actually won an award for that uh, by Alpha Assets. Yeah. So what are Hong Leong's future aspirations and how will you achieve them? 
Um, in as far as Hong Leong is concerned, we hope to build along with our commercial bank. As uh, you're probably aware, we are part of a bigger financial group uh, that manages across a whole spectrum of financial services. As Hong Leong Bank built its footprint uh, among the region, uh, as you probably may be aware, Hong Leong Bank has set up uh, operations in Cambodia. Uh, we have a full-fledged license in Vietnam and we also have an associate uh, via Bank of Chengdu in China. So as they grow along, we hope to also be able to grow along with the financial group and expand into a relevant investment bank in the region. Uh, as far as investment banks' aspirations, of course, in each of the markets that we operate in, we hope to be judged as one of the top few uh, in the industry as per what we have done in Malaysia. In Malaysia, we are fairly happy with what we have achieved. Uh, and of course, winning this award is one of those. Uh, but in terms of the market share, lead table positions, we are very happy with what we have done uh, and achieved uh, for the last four years since we started in Malaysia. And so for the regional markets, we hope to be able to replicate that and we hope to do just as well and be able to make a significant presence uh, and also to be uh, innovative, uh, so to speak, that's, that's our key uh, driving motto to be an innovative financial services uh, um, institution in each of these markets that we operate. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you, Lenny.